Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and if you like free stuff, you're going to like this video. We've got some uh, basically free 3D assets from Kitbash 3D. Uh, Kitbash have always made very nice stuff, and this one is a... Um kind of a course slash competition combo called Mission to Minerva. Uh, so as part of it, you can download the free kit. We are going to go hands-on with that kit in just a second. On top of that, there is some training available. Uh, and after you complete the training, you can be part of a competition. Uh, so you see here, you download the free kit. It's got cargo ships, train rovers, terraformers, etc. You're trying to create your own uh, best kind of sci-fi module out of this stuff. Everything is modular in nature. Uh, they do have training both on getting started with their stuff using both Blender and with Unreal Engine 5. Uh, and then there is a challenge available. So uh, you can care, uh, share it on the KB3D challenge on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or ArtStation to enter and contribute your piece. Um, enter into to any of these two categories, concept art or in motion awards for animation. Uh, so yeah, it, it's kind of a neat idea. Here are the judges behind it. Uh, the prizes available here include, uh, for first place, you get a Wacom Cintiq 16, an NVIDIA RTX 4080, and so on and so forth. So definitely a, a cool competition with some nice prizes available, but I think for most of us, what we are most interested in are the assets. So once you've actually signed up and got it, by the way, you do need to uh, sign up for account, but you can quite easily fake that account if you wish. You don't need to give them a credit card or anything, but you do need to go through the checkout process. Once you have created an account, you get the kit, in this case, the Mission to Minerva kit. The cool thing about it is you can then decide how you want it made. Their stuff is very nice in this manner, so if you're working with Blender, go in here and pick Blender. If you are working with uh, Unreal Engine, go in here and pick Unreal. One other thing you'll notice is if you pick something such as Unity and go under Render Engine, uh, you can either have it using the built-in or the HDRP. In this case, if you're using, say, the Unreal Engine or Blender, generally you're just going with Native. You can also choose what resolution you want the asset sets to be in. Uh, when you go ahead and grab the Blender one, you're going to get the textures separate from the model files. And I do have to warn you, they are big. Uh, very, very big. So here is, for example, uh, the Blender kit. So there is what you get, and you'll notice it is 3.7 gigabytes in size. So uh, it can definitely be challenging to run this one in Blender in a good performance way. Uh, so, okay, it's chunking out on me here. So here you can see this is the kit and everything in the kit. And you'll notice, yeah, it's a little bit slow. That's because there's three and a half gigabytes worth of assets here. I mean, an idea of the, um, the density and the quality of the assets in this kit. So definitely... Uh, neat looking stuff for sure. And what you're doing is you're basically using all of these things together uh, to create, so you see here, they all kind of, they all kind of slot together uh, in a very modular manner. So this is what you're going to use to prototype your science fiction base level. So that is the Blender side of things. Again, everything is in here. What you're gonna wanna do is extract these out to individual files or into asset libraries. Uh, Cause again, opening it up and working with it all in one big file is a ginormous task. Another thing you're gonna probably wanna do once you first download this, uh, you will not have the textures. The textures will come as a separate download. You choose them in 2K, 4K textures or whatever. Just come on in here, go to file, external data, and then find um, find missing files, and then just point it to where the, the ones that you downloaded are, and then it will you know fix it all. So you're not looking at a sea of purple as you know from the missing textures and so on. So that is the, uh, the Blender implementation here, but you'll notice also I have Unreal Engine going on here too. And here you can see one of said assets. This is literally one of the, uh, the components of this and again, you can see the uh, the details. So you got these glass screens inside. This is again, one of the modules. So there's a ton of stuff inside of each one of these things. And this is one. So you'll notice here, this one I, I dragged in from, uh, let me just get out from the outside of it. So boom, come on down here. You're gonna notice you import this U asset project. You're gonna see here, you've got uh, all these various different things. And so, so if I need this crane, for example, just drop it in. Now, one thing I haven't figured out is why the pivot point is so far off the base of the mesh. Uh, I don't really get that. We'll let this boy load in and you're going to see it in just a second. So all of these things are available inside of uh, the Unreal Engine project. I'm assuming Unity works the same way with a bunch of pre-configured prefabs. Uh, and then once that is loaded in, there you can see the crane asset. Uh, we're still loading in some meshes as you may be able to tell from the, uh, the missing component here, but give it a second, it will finish loading in. And there you go. So here is another one of the assets. Again, you can see the level of detail here. We got this crane operator, even some 
uh, like internal gauges and such going on there as well. Uh, so all of the stuff here, all of the, uh, the kits you see here are part of this uh, Mission to Minerva project. So if you're interested in checking that out, I will have the link down below. Uh, they're, they're huge, uh, real high quality assets. I highly recommend checking this one out. They are all available for free. Now, an obvious question is, how does the licensing work on this one? Well, you technically own it as if you purchased it. They do have a licensing page, kind of walks through how their licensing works. Uh, but it seems to be pretty straightforward. It is yours forever. Once purchased, your license has no expiration, has no re renewals being required. You may use your assets in any personal or commission project completely royalty-free forever. Uh, so that is the basics of their license seems to be uh, pretty flexible on the whole. And as I mentioned uh, earlier on, this does appear to be like once you've actually got it through this setup, it does seem like it was as if it was a normal purchase. So that seems to be the license that you are under. So again... If you are interested in checking this out, it is the uh, Mission to Minerva. You get the free kit there. They've also got, again, some training available for both uh, the Blender uh, graphics application and the Unreal Engine game engine. So if you want to see how to use those assets in those environments, they do have training for that. And of course, there is a competition out there as well uh, that you can completely ignore if you so wish and just look at this as free stuff. Or of course, you can enter the competition and win some prizes. As you can see right here, there's the first place prizes and then the other uh, prizes are listed here as well so uh definitely a nice little giveaway something to be worth knowing and free is always nice so anyway that is mission to minerva a free kit from kit bass 3d real high quality stuff uh as you saw from the blender hands-on portion though uh it is also uh kind of gigantic um so <laughs> you just expect uh you're going to want to break this one out into its constituent parts and not use it as one giant scene, but it's really high quality stuff. And if you're working directly in a game engine, again, like the Unity or Unreal Engine project, those are a lot simpler to work with because uh, it's basically broken down into a series of prefabs that you can literally just start dragging and dropping into your world. And as you can see from this actual prefab, the amount of stuff actually contained within each one of these things is impressive. So these are uh, very nice modular assets and they are also completely free. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.